what is a T state? See, this is all related to the clock frequency. Every microprocessor has some clock frequency. So the mach machine cycle and instruction cycle, they take multiple clock period. They may take one, they may take two or multiple, you know. So the T state is the portion of an operation which is carried out in one system clock period is called a T state. Okay. Let me tell you that operation is carried out. What part of the operation is done in one system clock which is identified by the system frequency? This is called a T state. Okay. So how, how do you get this, uh, this clock period from the frequency? Because frequency is 1 by T. So time is 1 by F. So the, uh, the frequency is already specified. Time you can find out. And in this time, in this one time, what is the portion of operation being carried out? This is called the T state. So here you see, it can be, this is a falling edge, this is a falling edge. So one T state, we can just say that this is some parts of portion of where the operation will be carried out. For example, you have a wave and you call it as this, this is a part, this is the amplitude frequency or this is the part which, which is uh, again repeating. So that is a period. So in order to complete any instruction to work actually, the, the fetching and execution of instruction will be done. This is called an instruction cycle. So this instruction cycle can have multiple machine cycle. And machine cycle is actually a basic operation that the processor has to perform. And each machine cycle will take a minimum of three to a maximum of six processor reference uh, clock cycles. So in the context, in this context which we are discussing, a processor clock cycle is known as a T state. T you can say it is a time. T stands for time you can say. T state. How many machine cycles and T states are needed to execute STA4200H in 8085 processor? H is for hexadecimal. First you must know what is STA. What does STA do? STA is actually a mnemonic uh, for store accumulator. ST for store, A for accumulator. And storing the content of the accumulator in the, into the memory, STA is used. So when you have STA 4200, that means whatever is in the accumulator, it has to be stored in a location whose memory address is 4200. So this is an 8085 instruction that says to store the accumulator at memory location. So there are different uh, machine cycles as I just indicated. So we have uh, operation fetch, then we have a memory read, then we have memory write, all these are the operations. Okay. So when you take this machine cycle, how many machine cycles are there? There are four you see on the left one. So four machine cycles are there. And if you come add them, four, three, 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 that is going to be 30. So these are 13 T states. So you can say in order to execute STA 4200 instruction, four machine cycle and 13 T states has to be taken, has to be done. So 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is basically 9 plus 4, that is 13 T states.